Do you want to learn some interesting facts about Boston Terriers? In this video, I'm going to cover 10 of the most interesting coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of BostonTerrierSociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade in her normal sleeping position. Now, today what I wanna cover are the 10 most interesting. Now, this actually comes from an article that I wrote on the website. You can check that out in the show notes below, covering 15 interesting facts, but I wanted to pull a little more information that I could find and just go a little bit more in depth. But if you wanna check that article out, so it'll be in the show notes or just simply Google Boston Terrier Society interesting facts. It'll be the first one that pops up. Now, coming in at number 10 as far as interesting facts are Boston's love to lay in the sun. Yes, now I pulled the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group and I asked them, what does your Boston Terrier love? And the overwhelming majority as far as similarities was Boston's love laying in the sun. Now, Bella here, it's a cloudy day, so the window, you know, well, no sun. But anyways, that's where she normally likes to lay whenever it is sunny. And she will literally move her bed around the house to the sun spot. I call her my little sundial. And this is a very common trait with other Boston Terriers. All right, coming in at number nine, Boston Terriers actually, or at least one particular Boston Terrier, holds the world record for the largest eyes. His name is Brucey, and he lives down in Texas with his owner, and his eyes were 28 millimeters in diameter. Now, just to put that in perspective, a quarter here is 24 0.26 millimeters. So those are some pretty big eyes. All right, coming in at number eight, the name Terrier could be misleading. So the Boston Terrier, while it does have Terrier in the name, is not technically a Terrier. So the American Kennel Club breaks dog breeds up into seven different distinct groups based on the characteristics of the dog and kind of the overall functions of the dog. Now there is a particular Terrier group, but the Boston Terrier actually falls in the non-sporting group. Now, according to the American Kennel Club, the Terrier, just to give you a little information about this particular group, they're bred to kill vermin, guard family's home or barn, and they're eager for a spirited argument. That doesn't quite sound like the demeanor of a Boston Terrier. They do, however, belong to the non-sporting group, and according to the American Kennel Club, the non-sporting group, these dogs come from a diverse backgrounds, but most are good watchdogs or house dogs. So some of the group dogs in this group, you have French Bulldogs, which is kind of similar as far as temperament to the Boston Terrier. You have Bulldogs, Chow Chows, as well as Dalmatians. So it is a variety of dogs, but most of them are bred to be family or companion style animals. So the ones that you're typically gonna think that are good family dogs. All right, coming in at number seven, they are a very popular dog breed. In the American Kennel Club, who keeps all the statistics on new puppies being born as far as being registered with AKC, Boston Terriers are always in the top 25 slot as far as most popular dog breeds in America. Last year, actually, Boston Terriers were the 21st most popular dog breed in America. Now, I do have a video that covers all 21 leading up to the Boston Terrier. You can check that video out here. But Boston Terriers back in the day were very popular. And between the years 1905 all the way to 1935, they actually hovered from being the first to the second place as far as most popular dog breeds in America. All right, coming in at number six, Boston Terriers are an American dog breed. They were the first dog breed to actually be registered with the American Kennel Club that originated here in the United States. And out of all the dog breeds in the AKC, they were actually number 48, being registered in 1893. All right, interesting fact number five, they are a presidential dog. Now keep in mind, there's only been 45 presidents of the United States, and two of those presidents have had Boston Terriers. Now not in the White House, but at some point in their life. The first was President Warren G. Harding. He was the 29th president of the United States. And then the second was Gerald Ford, who was the 38th president of the US. Now coming in at number four, Boston Terriers are a state dog, which is really interesting because only 13 states recognize any dog breed as their official dog. And Massachusetts recognized the Boston Terrier on May 14th, 1979 as their official dog, which makes sense because it, you know, originated from Boston. And I definitely want to highlight the importance of this because once again, only 13 dog breeds have been recognized and there's nearly 200 dog breeds recognized with the American Kennel Club. So to me, that's pretty impressive, I think. All right, interesting fact number three, Boston Terriers weren't originally called Boston Terriers. They're actually called or referred to as roundheads by the original people that created this dog breed. So the next time you see a Boston, you can call them a roundhead. All right, coming in at interesting fact number two, Boston Terriers are nicknamed the American Gentleman, and it's mainly because of their overall demeanor and their sharp color contrast, as well as being one of the original dog breeds developed here in the United States. 
And then coming in at interesting fact number one is the spot that is found on some Boston Terrier's head. Now you might see a little dot on top of their head and this Boston Terrier would have lineage that goes back literally a hundred years to a family called the Haggerty family and they were one of the original lines of breeding Boston Terriers. And this little spot that was basically bred into all these Bostons is still seen today and it's sometimes referred to as the kiss of God, the Haggerty spot, the Haggerty dot, an angel kiss, just to name a few. So if you see a Boston with this little spot, you know it comes from a long line of Boston Terriers. Now, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers, check out this video where I cover 20 reasons why they're the best dog breed in America. I might be a little biased, or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.